Namaste everybody. So I am going to talk about a requested video that I got and I decided that I'm going to do this in multiple parts and this is going to be the first part of the video and I'm going to film this one in 2018 so I don't move forward with this in 2019. Um, so this part of how I got into Hinduism is not a fun part. Um, it's something that I struggle with every single day of my life, and it is the fact that I have um, severe anxiety and severe issues with depression, and it's not easy for me to talk about this, so that's why I'm leaving this in 2018, and I'm not going to film it in 2019, it's kind of like a solemn subject, so anyway, we're gonna go on with the video. Um, basically... My anxiety. I am really awkward. Um, I'm awkward in social situations. I don't make friends very easily. Um, and then you add my depression part to it. I sometimes feel like I don't want to go come out of bed. I don't um, really want to do anything. I feel sad for no apparent reason at all. And. I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate from this video because, like, in Krishna consciousness, like, oh, just chant Hare Krishna and your problems will be solved, which I do. I chant, I sing, I um, meditate, I do yoga, but sometimes it you get overpowered with it, and it's just not fun. And I want to make this video for other people who are in my situation. And maybe people who used to be in my situation that can help me. So I thought this would be a good video to talk about. I don't have much issues with my um, depression or anxiety, but I still do once in a while have like a bout where I will just sit and be upset. And this caused me to, these issues caused me to really look into religion. I wanted to know what was out there. What was my point? Why am I here? And the church didn't help me. The church made me doubt religion a lot because I don't think God hates. I really don't think God's out there saying, I hate you because you did this. I hate you because you're that. I hate you because you're this because God created you that way. So I don't think he's out there to hate you and send you to hell for no reason. For example, the pastor at a church I used to go to was very anti-gay. And I don't think God hates people who just love somebody. Like, I don't think he does that. I don't think if you say, I love this person, I don't think you're going to be sent to hell. And that was my big issue with it. And a lot of religions were like that. And it scared me. I was never a Christian. I was never anything else. I was exploring what I wanted, what I thought I believed in. Um, and each time I was disappointed, and I became even more depressed because I didn't want to think that I was created by something so hateful. And I got to a really dark place. And I discovered Hinduism. And I honestly think it really... I think I would have been in a really bad place at this time in my life if I didn't discover it, I think I wouldn't be able to get a bed. And I'm talking really softly because it's upsetting to me to talk about this. So if anybody's like, oh, please speak louder. <laughs> this is one part of my life that I'm really, really ashamed of. I don't mention it to anybody. So yeah, I'm getting off topic again, but 
I was in a bad, 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 bad place when I discovered Hinduism, things made sense to me. Because in Hinduism, God doesn't hate you for those kind of things. Um, he can get mad at you for stealing. He can get mad at you for killing an animal. He can get mad at you for this and that. But he's not going to get angry at you because you chose to marry someone of your same gender. He is not angry that you doubt him at times. He doesn't act vengeful for no apparent reason. And that was something that I felt happy about and I had an understanding about why some bad things happen to some good people. And that made me feel a lot better. And yes, I still struggle with anxiety. I still struggle with my depression. Basically, it's still something, this is something that's helped me deal with it and something that brings me peace. So when I chant, when I sing, when I meditate, and when I do yoga, I feel really good. And it helps me wake up in the morning. It helps me think. It helps me do a lot of things. And that's why I'm so... And when I start reading the stories, when I start hearing about them, and they make sense to me, that's why... I'm so deep into this, why I'm such a hard devotee, because when I am devoted to it, I feel better. Even though sometimes I do struggle with it, like I so, like a couple days ago I woke up, didn't really feel like getting out of bed, but once I made myself get out of bed, do my yoga, do my chanting, I felt a lot better. So I hope all you guys can understand this a bit more. So this is my first part. I am going to make a couple more parts about why I believe what I believe. And yeah, so happy New Year's, everybody. See ya.